This is the guy that was on the Sean Ryan show, right? Yes. 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 So he's talking about how he was a, a I guess he was, he was a fireman out there. and yeah. In a riveting interview on the Sean Ryan show, a former firefighter and tradesman who spent over a year at the South Pole reveals startling insights into the secretive operations and advanced technologies hidden within Antarctica. This whistleblower, whose unique position granted him access to restricted areas, shares a chilling account of covert military activities, directed energy weapons, and technologies that defy conventional understanding of physics and communication. The device is also um, for faster than light communications. Life at the South Pole, an inside look at secret operations. From 2010 to 2011, the whistleblower worked as a firefighter and tradesman in Antarctica, contracted through Raytheon Polar Services. I was a lead on the firefighting team, and because of that dual role capacity, I physically held a key that opened every single door in the facility. He describes the Antarctic base as more than a scientific outpost, claiming that beneath its surface lies a labyrinth of covert operations involving advanced and sometimes dangerous technologies. Why are you blowing the whistle now? I am blowing the whistle because I'm obliged to. I don't know anybody that's walked a similar path to me in life. So it's necessary information that gets out there. Despite Antarctica's portrayal as a frozen wasteland reserved for peaceful scientific research, the whistleblower reveals that military activities and hidden technologies play a significant role. His first-hand experience suggests a connection between Antarctic facilities and global events. What was weird about Antarctica? There's nothing there. So if you want to go see the emperor penguins or all of the wildlife that is available, you can't go to the interior of Antarctica, which is where we were. Some of which involve the use of powerful technologies for purposes far removed from peaceful research. The ice cube neutrino detector is not simply a passive listening device as presented for the science that they're claiming it to do. It also has the capacity to transmit. There are um, embedded in the ice. The Ice Cube Neutrino Detector, world's largest directed energy weapon, the Ice Cube Neutrino Detector, officially operated by the University of Wisconsin, is presented to the world as the largest telescope designed to detect neutrinos. It is the world's largest telescope, and now because we have proven that it can transmit, it's the world's largest directed energy weapon system. Subatomic particles that pass through matter, providing insights into the universe's most mysterious processes. It is responsible for the earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand, he alleges that the Ice Cube Neutrino Detector was instrumental in causing the devastating 2011 Christchurch earthquake in New Zealand. While most people see Ice Cube as a tool to advance astrophysical knowledge, the whistleblower insists that it is a fully operational weapon system capable of targeting specific locations with precision. I was on the team, let's just say, and I've confirmed this. Provided documentation from the actual manufacturer specs constructed, operated, and maintained by the University of Wisconsin, and just like every other device on the planet, whether you're driving an M1 Abrams tank or operating the Ice Cube Neutrino Detector, there's um, operator's manuals that tell you how things work. The whistleblower delves into how advanced research at the South Pole goes beyond directed energy weapons. He discusses how quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where two particles become linked so that changes in one instantaneously affect the other, regardless of distance, is being harnessed for faster-than-light communication. Um, the way quantum entanglement works is that you can take uh, you can take two particles, quantum entangle them, and then take those two particles and move them at any distance. He explains how quantum entangled particles can be used to create instantaneous communication systems that bypass traditional methods of transmission. For example, two quantum particles can be entangled, and even if one is moved thousands of light years away, any change in its properties would immediately affect its entangled partner. It's just the new level of science that affords us the ability 
to communicate at any distance instantaneously. One of the most disturbing technologies described by the whistleblower is voice-to-skull, V2K, technology. This refers to a system that can project sound directly into a person's mind, bypassing the ears altogether. He explains how this technology, often linked to directed energy weapons, can be used to plant voices inside someone's head, influencing their thoughts and behavior without their knowledge. The whistleblower describes this as a tool for psychological warfare, suggesting that it can be used to manipulate people's decisions by creating the illusion of internal dialogue. Voice to skull technology. This is also in the foray of directed energy weapons. What is that? Uh, the ability to, let's just say, throw your voice into your head or my voice into my head. This technology, he claims, can be used to influence large populations by targeting specific individuals or blanket areas with psychological interference. He connects this technology to the Department of Defense's recent acknowledgement of Havana Syndrome, where U.S. diplomats and intelligence officers reported hearing voices and experiencing debilitating symptoms. He believes these incidents are linked to the use of V2K technology as part of a broader program of directed energy weapons used for psychological manipulation. I want to emphasize that we are currently in a state of war that people aren't realizing. What is that? These weapons are being wielded around us, against us. Uh, there are power players that are uh, above nation states. Geographical boundaries and political parties mean very little to the wealthy elite on this planet. Throughout the interview, the whistleblower emphasizes the need for global awareness and action. He insists that the advanced technologies being developed and tested in Antarctica pose a direct threat to human freedom. The public must demand transparency from both governments and corporations, particularly in relation to these covert programs. He warns that the technological advancements being made today, especially in areas like directed energy weapons, quantum communication, and mind control, are being controlled by a small group of powerful elites. These elites operate above national governments and are driven by their own interests, using humanity as pawns in their game for dominance. A lot of bad things going on on this planet. I'm sure that you've experienced it yourself firsthand. And you're aware that a lot of people don't know that these things are happening in the shadows. The whistleblower urges people to educate themselves about these technologies and take action to hold those in power accountable. He insists that if the public remains unaware of the true capabilities of these advanced systems, future generations will suffer the consequences.